Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful tutorial, we're trying to see how to validate our parameters that we pass in our CLI, right? So let's say you have written a very simple CLI like this, particular CLI, that accepts or is used to register a particular user, to add a particular user. And then you want to make sure that anytime you're entering in a, an input, it is validating it. What do I mean by that? So let's try it and see. Let's say I have this to add user. Then I have a name, so let's say Jesse, and then an email, then let's call it as Jesse at gmail.com, right? So if I run this, it's going to work perfectly for us. So what if I want to make sure that this particular input that I'm putting here, right, is a valid parameter, is a valid input, right? It's a valid email. How do I do that? So there are several ways. The first method is to create your own custom regex function to do your validation. But there's a simple method which is using click params. So let's see how to work with it. So to work with it, just going to go with pip install click params, right? So that is the package, the name of the package that's going to install it perfectly for us so that we'll be able to work with it. I've already installed it, so let's move on. So the next thing is after installing this, just go to your the same tab then from click underscore params import the particular stuff you want to validate so here we have an email so you want to validate this email so we just import email all caps then the next thing we need is that is all right so we are going to pass this email as our type so i'm just going to supply it as type it's equal to email and that, and that is all. This simple code is going to enable us to be able to validate this email to make sure that it's actually an email. So let's try that one. So I'm just going to go the same thing. If I run it, perfect. It's going to work without any errors. Perfect. Now let's intentionally make a mistake with the email, right? Let's call it that at com. Jesse at com. You see that now it is giving us an error message. So error invalid value for email right so that means that it is able to validate and make sure that this particular email that you supplied is not a valid email address just by using click params you can also do some other stuff so let's add something like public url right you can add something like domains so we work on it so domains and then public url so let's see an example i'm just going to duplicate this and then let's add this thing. So this is going to be our domain. I want to add something like a domain to it. So D. And then the next thing that we're going to add is our website. So let's call it as website, right? Website domain, yeah. And what's the same? W. Then perfect. So how do you work with it? So here we're just going to pass in the domain that you passed there. So the domain is something like maybe google.com right that is how this particular parameters sees it google.com gmail.com that is a domain and then the public url is the https something right the full domain name right so that is going to be our public url perfect so let's pass these things here pass domain and then website then let me duplicate this once So your email domain, right? Domain is this, and then your website. Perfect. Something very simple. So perfect, right? So this is supposed to be domain, not domains, right? Perfect. Now let's run it and see. It's going to be our Python regis then let's add user so the user is going to have a name the name can be any name so jesse we are not validating the name the email we are validating the email so let's say jesse at gmail.com then we have a domain right so the domain name is something like google.com without the https right and then the website or the url public url is the https or http so slash something good dot com. So let's run it and see. Perfect that everything is working well. So let's intentionally make a mistake for one of them. So I'm going to make a mistake for this. So that is giving us an invalid 
error right so invalid value value error because the this particular stuff here right was not actually well supplied so it's able to intelligently identify that this is not a valid parameter so that is how to work with click params so thank you for watching this tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can just put that in the comment section so that everybody can benefit and please don't forget to subscribe and check the links below for some interesting courses and some interesting books that can help you to master python thank you and stay blessed